Hi, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Cami and Karen Go Keto. Here we are today. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a spring shirt on. It is forecasted to be 70 degrees today here in the Chicagoland area. <laughs> so, yeah, and sunny. Tomorrow is 70 and rainy. But, you know, we'll take what we can get because it's nice to have these nice warm days at the beginning of March. Um, anyway, today we're going to talk a little about uh, tools and maybe a little about like gratitude and see where that takes us. Cami, do you want to talk about gratitude a little? Sure. Good morning, everybody. It's nice to see you here today. So don't forget to subscribe and comment on our channel. We're just delighted to be here doing this together. And I get to see Karen. And I think today it might actually be warmer in Chicago than in ah. San Diego, which is a rarity. It'll, it'll be close, a few degrees off. But um, I really wanted to talk about this subject because I think having gratitude today is important is important more than ever in our lives with all the stressors that we have going on and with life that just gets lifey and gets in our way. And the ways that I deal with gratitude in my life, there's three different ways that I do it. One is with a gratitude um, thread that I have on my phone. There's five of us involved now with this gratitude um, text that we do together. And every night we, you know, most nights I, I, I make it and some nights I don't. And the same is true with the other women involved so that you get three to five texts every night talking about gratitude and what they're grateful for in their lives. And it's just a really wonderful way for us to get support for each other, to remember what we're grateful for throughout the day and to share with each other and stay connected. So that's one of the things I do. Another thing that I do during the day to stay in gratitude is to pray and to check in with my higher power and just say, thank you, God, for this. And thank you for that. And thank you for helping me to remember where this was. And thank you for giving me patience during this situation. And um, checking in with my higher power is another thing that I do. And the third thing that I do is spend Spend time in meditation. I'm not so good at this still. I'm only on, you know, 10 minutes a day or something. I'm still working on trying to be still and quiet because my mind tends to wander. But working on my breath is what I'm still working on. And that helps me to uh, be still and quiet enough to get some gratitude in my life. So I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm working on. I think that as I'm more grateful during my life, I create less stress in my life and it helps me to stay on my food plan a little bit better. So what about you, Karen? Well, I do think that breath work is very important. And I, I think there's a summit that's going on right now or, or is starting in the next day or so from neurodynamics called breath work. And I know I signed up for it and I saw something in my email and I'm not sure if it started yet, but uh, you know, my mom being wheelchair bound after two strokes and having involuntary movements, the breath work is so important. I watch her and to really get her, the central nervous system is what uh, controls those movements. And I know that when she can get rhythmic, nice deep breathing, I can see her calm down and her movements stop. And it's, it's remarkable to watch. And she is my living, breathing, um, example of daily gratitude because I'm just so thankful that she, uh, you know, has survived those strokes and she is recovering every single day. And I, I breathe with her. She and I have some, from the time that we were young, have not been able to take deep breaths. We're just not deep breathers naturally. So it is a struggle. And now with her strokes and with the, um, the movements, it's just, it's critical that she does it, but it's, it's see, it's funny because it's like, it's a struggle and yet, you know, it's breathing. We do it all the time, but to get deep breathing, stomach breathing, that relaxing breathing is, you know, it does give you remarkable results when you have the patience for it. And it, uh, you know, there are people who believe that you can just do weight loss on breathing, right? You get really deep breathing. There are people that have um, deep breathing um, workouts with people that they they have guide, guides that 
teach deep breathing that can get you to the same space as a like a, a psychedelic mushroom can give you. It gives you that kind of high. And um, that's mentioned in Michael Pollan's book about the mind. And uh, I do find that breathing is, is a very good way of being calm and centered and a way to find peace. And, and when you get there, you, you can't help but be grateful. Uh, for me, I also have a morning ritual that I set up in Trello where I look at some Trello cards on my Trello app. And it goes through like eight things that I do every morning. And I'm, I'm just grateful that I have that and that I can look at it. And um, one of them is a picture of Tim, my spouse, my late spouse, and just reminds me every morning of how fortunate I was to have him in my life from the time I was 15 years old. And um, I feel that um, I don't have a written gratitude journal, but I do have a calendaring system that I go through every evening of my to-dos. And then I, I kind of go through my to-dos and I get to go through everything that I've got to take off my list. And I'm grateful that I can take it off of my list and plan for the next day. And I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to plan for the next day. I think that covers it for gratitude for me. Yeah, so this is kind of short and sweet, but I just think it's nice for us to be thinking about gratitude and how that can help us on our keto lifestyle journey and make us successful in the things that we do every day. Um, the other thing that I do, too, is that I'll call people and just um, have a conversation with somebody about how grateful I am for the things in my life, my sisters or my mother. And, you know, that helps, too. So oh, and another thing that Cammie does is she sends cards out to people saying, thank you so much for being in my life. Cause I get cards from you all the time saying, thank you. I, for I do. Being I do. Friend. <laughs> I'm a card sender. I really am. I buy the stamps and I address them and put the little stamp on in a heart because it's just so great to get something in the mail. That's not a bill, you know? So I yeah. do that. It's really fun to send those out. So, so thank you for all my gratitude cards, Cammy. You're welcome. You're welcome. I love you. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great day. We'll keep watching. Thanks for sharing our, your journey with us. Bye. Bye.